Those kinds of temperatures are not that unusual for Idaho. In fact, back in 2021, we were experiencing a similar heat wave around this time of year. So for fun, Brian Holmes thought that he would put some stuff in direct sunlight on a stone platter for 30 minutes. Things made of wax, things made of chocolate, things made of ice, just to see which would melt first. It's this classic 208 redial. First one in the field, the crayons. Call them color me bad, but they are good to be one of the favorites. This candle burning both ends. Soap on a rope as a long shot. So are Chappawar and One Night in Vegas. A lot of people picking, I can't believe it's not butter odds. Butter close competitor, Seabiscuit. It's, it's cookie dough. Then there's the hard shell candies. Race the rainbow and slim, not so shady. They don't crack under pressure. However, the gummies, Seattle Slurry, will go out on short odds. Here she goes, now into position. And Stars and Stripes, the last to enter the starting gate. And they're off. I can't believe it's not Butter Odds leaps to the lead. Don't look now, but here comes Here She Goes. However, she looks like she's not going to keep up with that pace. From the middle of the pack, Seattle Slurry making its move. I can't believe it's not Butter Odds trying to maintain the lead and color me bad, coming on strong on the backstretch. On the far turn, Seattle Slurry turning into some sort of colorful slurry. But I can't believe it's not Butter Odds not ready to give up the ghost or the lead. And down the hot stretch they come. I can't believe it's not Butter Odds. Seattle Slurry, color me bad on the outside. And it's Seattle Slurry going fluid first. Followed by, I can't believe it's not Butter Odds, and Color Me Bad oozing into third. Stars and Stripes, whew, just out of the money on this one. Here she goes, couldn't keep up and kept its shape. Seabiscuit made an effort, but one night in Vegas and Chapel War, not even close to contenders, despite the 125 degree stone surface. Race the rainbow, slim not so shady, not such a good showing. And burning both ends, soap on a rope, like they were left at the starting gate. And that's the call from Fairview Field. Until next time. I think we should probably run it back with some new objects. Texas, what you think. And as Rick said, it could be 106 or 107 on Sunday. Maybe you'll do this in your own backyard. Let us know. So what can you do to beat the heat here in Boise? Well, I sat down with the Boise mayor, as you saw earlier in the program. We talked about it being 108 possibly on Sunday. I asked her, what are you going to do? Here's what she had to say. The 108 days are the days I wish I had a basement. <laughs> Safely spend time at the river, right? Um, whether it be where you can hang, and we see this, right, on hot days. I love going down to the river because you just see hundreds and hundreds of Boiseans enjoying the, the trees, the beaches, the cool, clean water that we've got running through our city. Um, but I'd also um, really encourage folks to watch out for each other. Um, because it'll be hot this weekend. Check on your neighbors, see if anybody needs anything, make sure you drink a lot of water. Um, and we have um, services and organizations in place ready to help if people need help.